this is Curtis Tucker, that buzz guy here. Welcome back to the podcast and the YouTube channel. I appreciate you guys hanging out and coming back. Took a little break at the end of 2020. That was one crazy year. Glad that is over with. So let's move on to 2021. Going to have a lot of fun stuff going on with that buzz guy this year with my adventures in media and design, but also going to just do some adventures in just life as well. So follow along. It's going to be a little different this year, especially on the podcast, not as many instructional type episodes. Going to try to do some more fun um, follow along type of deals. And then I'm going to have different, uh, different things going on at the same time. So you're going to be able to follow me doing different things throughout the year. So I hope you guys will stick with me and listen. Hopefully I can entertain you guys and teach you at the same time. So, uh, I'm going to unveil some of the stuff that's going to be happening here in 2021 and uh, just going to start out with uh, this podcast and this YouTube video, trying something different. This isn't how I will do all the episodes, but I thought I was going to, I would try something a little different. So if you notice on the podcast, it might sound a little bit different. I am uh, not in front of my microphone recording directly into the computer. Right now I am in front of my iPhone with a Rode wireless go on and so it's kind of like a little microphone i'm going to tap it if you're watching the youtube channel it's uh you can see that i've got it hooked here to my sweater it is a bluetooth a really cool little deal there's a little black box that you hook onto your your shirt or you can actually put that on your belt buckle and then put plug a lavalier mic into it you wear that and it projects uh, there's another little box that is connected to my phone that is the transmitter and uh, they just kind of talk back and forth so i can walk all over the room and still get the same amount of volume the uh, sound quality is not going to be as good as talking directly into my yeti microphone but again i uh, thought i would give this a test to let you guys, especially YouTube, YouTube watchers, um, kind of see how the wireless go works for your YouTube channel is about $200. Uh, don't forget if you, one tip, if you do buy one, you got to buy a little cord that has a male end on one end in the three circles, and then the male end on the other end with two circles and the three circle end goes into the white, um, cord that goes into your iPhone. So you actually have to have two little cords that goes from the transmitter to your iPhone. And then another thing, another tip that I'll tell you real quick, uh, and I may just need to do a whole episode on the wireless go, which I might do uh, coming up. But uh, if you're going to try to do a video or a Facebook live with an iPhone, um, anyway, the iPhone that I have, what I have found is you have to start the live or the video first and then plug the microphone in before I could get it to work. So just a little tip there. It does make kind of a weird little noise when you plug it in, but um, you know you can you can cut that out on a video. And then usually on a Facebook Live, most people haven't checked in by the first few seconds. So uh, anyway, some tips there. So I hope the sound quality is good enough that it's not going to irritate the heck out of you guys that are uh, listening on the podcast. And uh, another thing you might notice, uh, got a beard going, so got a little bored in uh, 2020. Um, turned 57 in December and had have never really, that I can think of, I've never just let my beard go. I didn't know if I could grow a beard. If you can see my scruff there uh, under my chin is really white. The rest of it's a little darker, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not, but I may let it get a little bushier before I decide what to do. So um, going to be adventures in beard and adventures in design, adventures in media. It's going to be a complete year or decade of adventures. And the reason I say that, uh, I had a phone call with a business coach over the uh, end of last year, and we got to talking, and it was kind of a, she was trying to work out some new stuff for uh, the things that she, she does, and so she wanted a volunteer to work with that she hadn't worked with before. So I volunteered because I had never worked with a business coach, and I've always kind of wondered, you know, what, what it would be like. So I um, had an hour-long phone call with her, 
And um, through that conversation, she came up with, uh, uh, kind of enlightened me on some, some really cool things, some things that I didn't really think about. But uh, two of the things that I really seem to gravitate to when it comes to uh, life, style, life, and um, the things that I like to do work-wise were uh, community, building communities and adventures, uh, just kind of being adventurous and going on adventures. And so um, I've already built a couple of communities, uh, trying to build a new community with you guys, with that buzz guy. Um, but uh, I, the funnest part, I think, of what I do and, and some of the best parts of what I did with Enid Buzz is when I went on uh, my different adventures like chasing tornadoes or going to the uh, total uh, solar eclipse or flying with the Thunderbirds or uh, interviewing Garth Brooks or Gene Simmons. So I'm um, going to be looking for a bunch of different things like that, taking you guys on different adventures, but uh, teaching you guys things along the way. That's going to be uh, doing in 2021. One of the first things that uh, I'm going to be doing, and it, probably going to be doing multiple things this year. And so there'll be different storylines for you guys to follow. Uh, it won't just be one and then I'll finish and then start another one. And so one of the first things that uh, we're going to be working on and then I will take you guys through all the steps and let you know is I am going to get my drone uh, 107 drone pilot's license. Uh, so I've ordered a drone. It's a DJI Mini 2. Runs I think about $499. And um, basically to fly that little booger, um, it is um, point, weighs 0. 0.55 pounds and so, or just, just below that. So I guess uh, regulations, if, if you fly a drone just under 0. 0.55, you don't have to have a drone pilot's license, but you can only fly it for recreation. You can't use it in commercial ventures like I couldn't do video and photos and put them on Enid Buzz. Now, when I do get the drone, I will play with it and post some of the videos and uh, photos on that Buzz guy since it's I don't really make any money right now with... Uh, and I won't be selling the pictures or anything, but uh, so that buzz guy right now is just uh, kind of a blog and isn't a money-making venture. But then when I get my drone license, then I'll be able to go out and shoot footage of events and, and things like that for Enid Buzz. So what I'm going to do is um, we'll kind of go over on an episode the DJI uh, drone, kind of talk about that, how it works. Uh, what the advantages of having a drone are, and then we'll go through the steps of getting the uh, 107 uh, pilot's license, which I hear is, is harder than you might think. Um, it doesn't have a whole lot to do with actually flying a drone. It has more to do with uh, really being a pilot. You've got to know weather conditions and flying conditions and topography and reading maps and all these little codes to weather and things like that. So, and it's $160 to take the test. I know a lot of people, one girl, I was watching a YouTube video, she had studied for two weeks for the test. Another guy spent $150 and took almost like a college course to study for it. So um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do to study for it yet, but I will let you guys know. If I take a course, I'll let you know how that goes. If I just um, study on my own, I'll let you guys know how that goes. But uh, so anyway, I will be gearing up for that. Um, I'll tell you all the little licenses and places that you need to sign up, um, registering your drone. Uh, there's several little things involved that you've got to do. So you, you, you buy the drone, you take the test, you get your license, you have to file that, and then you get a little, you actually get a, a pilot's license that you carry around with you. And, uh, and then I believe every two years you have to renew that pilot's license. And so uh, what's going to be really cool is um, when I do go fly, we'll also do some episodes about flying with the drone. And living in Enid, Oklahoma, we not only have uh, a small airport, but we have an Air Force base. And so I will be dealing a lot with uh, no-fly zones and um, just a whole bunch of different obstructions. But um, from what I hear, there are always ways of getting around it. You know, if you really need to record some footage of something, you just have to get the right um, restrictions lifted or you know authorization. Uh, sometimes it takes, I've heard up to 90 days to get authorization, especially around 
and Air Force Base, but uh, that'll be, you know, I'll at least be able to show you guys how to get that authorization, what, what you have to go through to do that. So should be a fun um, uh, adventure, doing the whole drone adventure. So we'll do that throughout the year. Uh, another thing, I probably mentioned it um, last year, but uh, really going to try to get my book written this year. And so the book is about uh, growing up in my ho hometown of Enid, Oklahoma in the 1970s. I grew up with a really fun group of, of guys. And there was a couple summers where we just ran all over town back in the day and did all kinds of fun stuff. And so it's going to be kind of a combination of uh, Stand By Me, Goonies, and Lost Boys, but uh, based on a lot of stuff that we did, not exact true stories. The names will be changed to protect the innocent, but uh, the 100% uh, percent intent of writing the book is to have it uh, sell, but then also have it turned into a screenplay and then uh, made into a movie. Uh, luckily, I do have a lot of contacts in Hollywood and uh, California and the movie industry, and so uh, that is definitely no guarantee that I'll be able to get this, uh, but at least I n I'll know who to contact, who to send it to, who to have it proofed, and, and all that. So, so we're gonna have one storyline of, of doing drones, another storyline of writing a book. I'll take you through everything that I learned. I've, I know nothing about flying a drone, and I know nothing about writing a book at this point, but uh, by the end of the year, hopefully, we will all know a lot more about it. So those are two fun storylines that we're gonna be um, following this year. Uh, I can't really think of, um, of what the other storylines are going to be at this point, but I'll mix, I'm just going to mix the podcast up. If you, like I said, if you notice, um, things are, I'm in a different location in my office, but, uh, maybe I'll do some podcast episodes from outside of the office, uh, try some different microphones and things, um, just test out a bunch of stuff to let you guys know, um, what's going on. So I hope, uh, if you have listened to me before, I hope you guys have already started something. I know a couple of you have some regular podcasts going, uh, using the anchor app. And so hopefully I've pounded everything home and giving you the basics of podcasting, blogging, uh, didn't go a lot into the YouTube, but, uh, maybe we'll do more YouTube, uh, type of things this year. So anyway, uh, what else was I going to tell you guys? Um, just glad to be back and I probably will not keep a regular schedule with posting the podcast. I, I think, I think it's going to be funner for me and a little bit looser if I just do random episodes and you know, like one week, heck really fun stuff may be going on. And so, uh, I may end up doing three episodes one week and then maybe I get busy or go on vacation and the next week I don't do one. So, um, just going to try to keep it a little more random, a little more fun. Uh, let's see today, um, early, uh, mid January, what is today? The 15th, I believe. A couple of fun things happened today. We've got an organization here in Enid, Oklahoma that's called uh, Leadership Greater Enid, and um, they get about 20 uh, different class members every year, and they take them all over town, and they introduce them to all of the things going on in our city, government, police, fire, the, the military, media, uh, just, just about everything. And so I'm... Uh, I'm on the media deal, and so I usually get about 20, 30 minutes to talk to the group. And so I did that talk today. Um, that was fun. And so basically what I do is I tell them about my other business, which is Enid Buzz, and uh, tell them about how Enid Buzz can help them market and, and how I provide news and information to the town of Enid, Oklahoma. So that was fun. Then I get back and I get an email. And over the years, I have bought literally a couple hundred domain names. I used to have a hundred websites up and running. And uh, after some of the algorithm changes on Google, I uh, closed down a lot of those websites, but I kept the domain name. So I've owned Gymsock, G-Y-M, gymsock.com for years and uh, had it on um, the marketplace on GoDaddy, sold it today for $300. So I thought that was kind of fun. Um, I've got probably a dozen, over a dozen other domain names sitting on Google. Um, so it's always kind of fun to think of uh, cool domain names. And then if you don't end up using them, selling the domain names for more than you purchased. Uh, but uh, depending on how long I had it, I don't know if I really made a whole lot of money. But anyway, it's kind of fun uh, watching that sell. 
uh, other things that I've been working on, um, I can't even think right now. Just wanted to pop on here and let you guys know that I am going to be back and I haven't abandoned you on the YouTube channel or on the, uh, the podcast. So uh, we continue to do <clears throat> the 70s Buzz podcast if you guys are interested in the 70s. Again, I have a great passion for the 70s and growing up in the 70s. That's why I'm writing the book. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and reveal, um, I've already got the domain name, uh, the, the website I'm going to be building, and then I've got the Facebook page. So the book is going to be called Banana Seat Squad. And uh, just kind of an idea, it's going to be about uh, these kids, four or, five, four or five boys that grew up in this neighborhood in Enid, Oklahoma, and it's kind of their last hurrah. It's kind of the last summer before they enter high school. Uh, they're still riding around on their banana seat bikes, but uh, they're not quite as cool as they used to be, and uh, so they're going to try to form this club called the Banana Seat Squad. And to get on the squad, you've got to go through initiation, and it's going to be, I, I can't remember, somewhere around 22 things that you have to accomplish to be on the squad. And uh, a lot of these things that are in the book are things that we actually did. Some of them are completely made up, but uh, should be fun following those uh, the boys doing all of those things to uh, become a part of the Banana Seat Squad. I'm going to have t-shirts going to have a lot of uh, uh, stuff to go with it. Uh, me and the guy that we're doing, that I'm doing the 70s Buzz podcast with, we, we bought our own silk screening equipment, so we silk screen our own t-shirts. So we, I think we're going to come out with a line of 70s t-shirt designs, uh, phrases, and fun stuff like that. So if you guys, like I say, if you are into the 70s, uh, we'll have that line coming out. That's good. That could be another whole uh, thing to follow me through this year. Uh, maybe we'll do an episode where we set up the camera and I'll show you guys how we silk screen uh, the t-shirts ourselves. I used to do, that was one of the first jobs I had out of college was silk screening. And so um, kind of learned how to do silk screening t-shirts on my own. So we've, we're doing that. We uh, did open up our store again over the holiday break, sold, I don't know, about six, seven hundred dollars worth of t-shirts. Uh, had them in a store with another guy and we literally didn't have to do anything so uh, may continue that and uh, just going to keep up with the podcast, the blog, and the YouTube channel. You guys continue to check in. I'll try to update the uh, That Buzz Guy Facebook page uh, more. I've got That Buzz Guy on Twitter and then you can also find me on Instagram. Um, and uh, so just a lot of fun adventures coming up, you guys. Uh, if you guys have some thoughts or some ideas or things that you want to know or you want to learn, let me know. Buzz at buzzheadmedia.com or curtis at cartoons.com. I've got all kinds of emails, lots of ways of contacting me. Let me know how this sounds. Again, um, I've got a really cool microphone that should be on the way. It's a USB microphone. It's kind of a retro look when I get it. Um, I bought it through one of those um, Indiegogo. So it was one of those crowdfunding sites. And so um, help these guys. I contributed money, help these guys um, pay to get this thing created. They got it created. It's getting ready to ship right now. Um, when I get that, uh, maybe we'll do an episode on uh, doing some Indiegogos and GoFundMe type um, crowdfunding type things. I've done that. I uh, crowdfunded $1,500 to get me to the presidential inauguration four years ago. So that was cool. So we'll talk about that. Um, we'll just go over all kinds of fun stuff and then any adventures getting ready to kick off a little digital ad agency with a, another a couple of people. It's going to be Enid Buzz Media and Marketing. So uh, we'll be working with uh, like um, a thing called Local IQ. So uh, I'll take you on some adventures of that. I may do some more logos, um, do a few cartoon logos to show you the process of doing that as well. So um, just uh, stay with me, uh, come along for the ride, and I'm going to keep this episode a little shorter. Uh, so anyway, hope everybody had a great uh, new year. Hope everybody's having a great 2021 so far. I'm looking forward to a grand 2022, you know, 20 and 2 and 22 are my numbers. 
And so uh, 2022 has got to be a grand year. 2020 was supposed to be good. It turned out a little weird. Not, uh, not so bad for me, but uh, really bad for a lot of people. So let's uh, get things regrouped here in 2021. You guys let me know what you uh, want to learn. And I hope everybody has started something because... Uh, it's January. Now's the time to start. Let's don't uh, don't be listening to me in December and saying, "Gosh, I wish I'd started something in January." You guys, get it started. Get it started now. So, uh, don't forget about uh, you need to have a website. Um, and then we're we're also going to do a whole episode on this whole um, shutting people down. I know. Um, you know, some people have their reasons for shutting the president down, but boy, it's a little scary when you find out that you know, Twitter and Facebook and Pinterest and Shopify and Amazon, you know, Amazon shut Parler down. And, um, you know, just because somebody doesn't like now, you know, just some of the things that you say that they can shut you down. And so that's a little bit scary. So um, again, don't rely on social media for your entire business. Uh, they could uh, shut you down, even having a website, but at least if you have like a WordPress website and they shut you down, you can take that WordPress website and move it to a server that uh, maybe doesn't mind what you're doing and they'll let you upload it. Uh, have an email list. Uh, that's one thing that you do own that nobody else can control. Again, something like um, MailChimp could kick you off if they don't like what you're saying, but you can always take that email list, create your own software, buy software, or go to another service that doesn't mind what you're doing. So, But uh, if you're on Facebook, if you're on Twitter, if you're on Instagram, if you're on Tumblr, if you're on Wix, if you're on Weebly, and they kick you off, you're done. Um, you can't take that stuff with you. You don't own it. Um, you know, once they shut you down, it's gone. So everybody keep a website again, recommend WordPress cause you can move it around, have a email list, start building that up. And, uh, you guys go to, uh, curtistucker.com or that sign up for my email list so I can stay in contact with you guys. I appreciate you guys for subscribing on YouTube. I think, um, over 420 subscribers. Uh, in the scheme of things, that's not huge. But when I think about it, there's 400 of you guys out there watching or at least subscribing to my videos, which is really pretty cool. Uh, I really, really appreciate you guys. And uh, and then the numbers of the podcast, even though I haven't updated the podcast in a while, you guys keep listening to those episodes. So I really, really appreciate it. Um, I am one of you guys. We're all in this together. I'm not any better than anybody. I learn all this stuff on my own, like a lot of you guys. Um, I don't buy a lot of expensive courses and stuff. So uh, let's learn together, uh, teach each other. I'll try to have some of you on the podcast or on some of these videos so we can help each other out. So everybody have a great evening or morning, whichever time of day it is that you're listening to this, and I will be back soon. See ya!